guys, this is Faye from Faye's World Media, and in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Zoom timer, which was recently released. Since then, I've actually recommended the timer for a number of people to check out. And that's when I learned its benefits as well as limitations. And that's what we're doing in this video. I hope you watch it till the end because if the Zoom timer released by Zoom.us doesn't work for you, then I may have a good alternative for you right here. Number one, the Zoom timer can be installed by the hosts or anybody who is a paid user on your account free of charge. It's great for meditations, uh, group meetings, that sort of thing. There are a number of benefits. It's free to use. It's flexible, meaning that you can change the duration, 5, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, all pre-built, all the way up to a custom durations to 100 minutes. It can be installed by the hosts or by anyone who is a paid user as part of your account. And a lot of people really like uh, the option for people to start, but also stop the timer. And for group meditations, it even plays a water-like sound at the end of the timer when it runs out. But here are some of the limitations. It can only be installed by the hosts or any paid users on your account. It makes sense, right? You can't just give anybody, participants and attendees, flexibility to modify your Zoom setting. But that also introduces a complication or inflexibility, which means if during the meeting you want someone else to start the timer for you, whether it's a last minute assigned co-host or you decided to have a breakout room, now you need three to four different people to start a timer from, let's say within their breakout room, it's challenging on the spot. In order for other people to be able to use the Zoom timer as you intend it to be, what you need to do is to, number one, have all these people pre-install the timer as a plugin. Then when you start your meeting as a host, you need to give them permissions to be able to use their timer. So it doesn't sound like a lot, asking people to install, giving them permissions. Just these two things alone actually give you that barrier to entry. And a lot of people will not be able to do it right on the spot. If you want people to start using the timer from within your meeting, those people have to leave, install it, and then come back. I think you get what I'm saying. So here's where the phase world Zoom timers will come into play and be very flexible. So the timers we sell in a big variety for business, education, meditation, even productivity, such as Pomodoro timers, are MP3 videos. Anyone can download them. Anyone with access to video virtual backgrounds can use them. And you only need to buy them once. They start at $2. Most of the timers are $2 with the exceptions of really long timers that are sold at $5 to $10. You can have them ready simply by uploading these videos as part of your virtual backgrounds and they're ready to go forever. I also don't mind having hosts buy these timers and be able to share with their attendees and participants with no extra charge. As a result of the flexibility of Face World Timer, since its release in August, 2020, we've sold thousands of units to people around the world. Literally, it is so flexible and so easy to use. Now, the downside of the Face World Zoom Timers is because they're MP3 videos, you're unable to start and pause them in the middle and to restart again. So a lot of our customers will buy bundles and we sell a lot of the bundles one to five minutes, six to 10 minutes. So they will upload all of them to their virtual backgrounds. And whenever they need to switch, let's say from two to one minute timers, it's just a single click. If they need to stop the timer or time runs out, they can simply click on none, you know, deselect virtual backgrounds and they're all done. It's super flexible during breakouts. As a host, you're able to just buy the timer once and send it to maybe four of your moderators and they're good to go. The final thing I'll say is that um, because we're a small company, we no longer create these custom timers for people, meaning adding your logo, you know, changing it to a color only you can use, but we really would like to serve this community and do more. So if you see opportunities where we can create more universal video timers that people can upload and just use as part of their virtual background, please let me know in the comments below. I love creating digital products. Much love to this community and I'll see you in the next video.